Amazon has been the industry seller in ebooks startup Oyster challenging that leadership position. The company's subscription service launched an ebook store yesterday, selling titles from the five biggest publishers. Co-founder and CEO Eric Stromberg with me now. Eric, glad to have you here. Thanks for coming in. So, what is it like to take on Jeff Bezos? Well, you know, look, about a year and a half ago, we launched our subscription offering uh, in ebooks. And since then, the business has grown dramatically. So today, we offer over a million titles uh, from authors like Stephen King, Dan Brown, and J.K. Rowling, all for under $10 a month. And now we're taking the best of that and we're launching our retail offering, putting it together all in the same place as a comprehensive uh, offering for readers. So just to back up, as you mentioned, about a year ago, you basically were running a digital library, almost sure. like a streaming music site. And so you would suggest, for example, if I like Harry Potter, you would have other suggestions. So it was curated as well, right? That's exactly right. And, and discovery is really at the center of what we do. You know, we actually take a lot of inspiration uh, from that offline great experience of browsing your local bookstore. And when we look at the digital book market today, we think a lot has been focused on the search side. So, you know, if you know exactly the book that you want, you can generally uh, press a few buttons and you can find it. But we see a lot of opportunities on the discovery side. So maybe you don't know exactly what you want and you can download the Oyster app, browse in a really enjoyable and effortless way and find a new book. And it really, in fact, about four out of every five books that are read on Oyster are found through discovery, not through search. And that's very different from what other retailers see. So in some ways, you're appealing to readers who enjoy the pleasure of reading, not necessarily to a person who wants to buy X book. Well, I think that's what the subscription model is great for. When you pay once, you never have to think about it again. It really enables really fantastic discovery. But what we're doing now with the ebook store is that if there is that specific title that you just really want to read, whether it's a new release that maybe is not in subscription yet, we're going to give you the option to buy that and really put it together as a comprehensive offering. So did you say it's $10.99 a month for the former subscription service? It's $9.95 a month for the subscription okay. service. That's right. And then per book, obviously, as you buy them, as you would buy any ebook, whether it's from any of your competitors, it's the same. That's exactly right. So in general, we're going to be uh, offering the same prices that you would find anywhere else. And then on top of that, of course, all the great uh, discovery mechanisms and then also just really great design that's specifically built for the device that's with you all the time, your mobile phone. Okay. And Eric, I know before this, one of your places of employee was eBay. How did that prepare you for this? So uh, previously, I was actually at a startup that was acquired by eBay. And so I worked at both the startup and then at eBay and really got to see you know, both sides of it. Being a startup and then being a larger company, really worked on product, got to learn how you build products at scale. Both of my co-founders actually both come from Google as well. That's definitely helped us when it comes to bringing a product to market and then growing it beyond that early phase. All right. Well, we thank you very much for coming in. Great to meet you. Eric Stromberg joining us there, Oyster co-founder and CEO. More on risk and reward after.